Do you have nightmares when asked to send a step file of an assembly and of the individual parts? That requires a scary amount of time. SolidWorks 2023 will come to your rescue and calm those import-export fears. SolidWorks 2023 added a new checkbox to the System Option Export page. Export assembly components as separate step files allows the creation of an atomic step file. When unchecked, an assembly file is saved to a single step file of the complete assembly. When checked, the assembly is saved to a step file and every part in the assembly has its own separate step file. This makes it easier to share large assembly files through the step file conversion option. In this assembly, we see we have several components. Let's save as on the assembly. We see that there are two file types to choose from, step AP203 and step AP214. For those who are not familiar with the differences, the step AP203 is a general step file that defines geometry, topology, and configuration management, but no color and layers. The step AP214 file is an extension of the AP203 file. It contains everything the AP203 file has with the addition of color, layers, and geometric tolerancing information. Now, either format is acceptable. As you can see, we only have one step file for the assembly. When we open the step file, the feature tree looks intact as an assembly. Further review shows that each part is an imported dumb solid. Now let's open up the original assembly again and enable the new feature in the system options export. We'll save the file to a step AP214 file again to see the differences in the step files. As you can see, File Explorer shows our assembly step file and each individual part was saved as its own step file. Each part step file can be opened individually. So no more fears, SolidWorks 2023 is here to save you with tons of time when collaborating using step files, especially for those large assemblies. Thanks for watching.